The giant turtles that swam the oceans of Mesozoic Earth were something to behold. They were as large as many whales are today and chomped down on all sorts of things. The weird thing is that they all usually come from North America and from the latest Cretaceous. A brand new one from the Pyrenees Mountains proves that they occurred all over the globe and for longer than previously thought. Meet Leviathan Achilles. Sea turtles today are pretty nifty. They are one of the few groups alive today that we can directly call marine reptiles, a term that used to apply to the majority of the vertebrates that enjoyed living a life in the ocean. Thanks to the K-Pig extinction event and the evolution of modern mammals, we are down to like less than a handful of marine reptiles. Go back far enough and you may find examples of these modern marine reptiles that blow the socks off of any kid who thinks that mosasaurs were the only cool things to slither the high seas. Titanic turtles once paddled their merry way across the world's oceans in search of all sorts of prey items that modern sea turtles can only dream of munching. Panchalonioidea is a huge group of cryptodiron turtles. The cryptodires are a subgroup of the greater turtle or testudines order that includes most living tortoises and turtles. The other group is the Pleurodira, which includes the side neck turtles and a bunch of extinct forms. The Panchalonioidea includes both extinct and living marine turtles, such as the protostegids Archelon and Protostega, which are the largest turtles that have ever lived in the sea. The clade is made up of animals that have strong adaptations to life in the sea. These animals' limb bones have adapted into paddle-like flippers, their heads get rid of excess salt, and their shells became less hard. All of the groups within the Panchalonioidea began to form during the early Cretaceous and reached their greatest diversity during the latest Cretaceous. The Protostegids, whose family history is unclear, diversified quickly during the early Cretaceous, spreading all over the world and becoming ecologically specialized and taxonomically diverse. However, they still went extinct at the end of the Mesozoic. It is important to note that most giant forms lived in the western interior seaway of North America during the Campanian, except for the Moroccan Oshepeshalon, the Jordanian Gigantotypus, and the Protostega gigas material from Eastern Europe. The fact that these animals are so big could be a sign of some unique habitat conditions or the fact that predators are pushing them to get bigger. A brand new form of these giant turtles has just been described from far outside of the usual western interior seaway sediments, making it yet another outlier that may be proving a trend. In the last 20 years, much has been learned about the Campanian to Maastrichtian vertebrates from the southern Pyrenees, but this mostly only happens on land, so not much is known about the marine tetrapods that used to live in the seas around this part of the Iberian Peninsula. A relatively new locality from the Pyrenees Mountains, Caltorades, finally reveals the diversity of the marine fauna from the Cretaceous of this region. The Caltorades locality was first found in July of 2016 between the Serra de Abenc and the Serra de Carru mountains outcropping near the small villages of Perarura and Vaidarques in Alt Urgel County, Southern Pyrenees. From a geological point of view, Caltorades is in the lower part of the Perles Formation, which is made up mainly of marls and marly limestones. The lower part of the Perles Formation has a lot of invertebrate macrofossils like echinoderms, sponges, and lamellibranch bivalves, and microfossils like hyaline benthonic and planktonic foraminifera. The analysis of these fossils, especially the benthonic foraminifera, shows that the new fossil site is definitely from the middle Campanian stage of the late Cretaceous period. It was at this site, in the Pyrenees of northern Spain, that scientists uncovered the bones of a new kind of huge marine turtle, the biggest of its kind ever found in Europe. The bones were found by chance, also in 2016, when a hiker was walking in the Pyrenees. 
Once a local museum was alerted to the find and a team was sent to excavate the fossils, which were located 20 centimeters above the sandstone base of the Caltorades locality and its pearless formation, the remains were taken back to that local museum and the Catalonian Department of Culture. But no one was able to take a look at them until 2021. Researchers started digging again at the Pyrenees site and found pieces of the turtle's pelvis and shell. Even though fossils of late Cretaceous sea turtles have been found in European marine deposits, reports of large ones are very rare. Allopleuron hoffmanii is the largest late Cretaceous sea turtle in Europe. Its shell could be up to one and a half meters long. The new turtle was named after the holotype specimen MCD-9884, which included the back end of the animal's shell, including the 5th to 8th neural and costal plates, an almost unidentifiable bone thought to be a vertebra, and most of the pelvic girdle, including the pubis, ischia, and ilia. It was named Leviathan Achilles enigmatica in a paper published in Scientific Reports by Oscar Castillo Visa, Angel Lujan, Angel Galabart, and Albert Seles from the name of the Bible's Leviathan and Achilles, which is the Latinized Greek word for turtle. The species name Enigmatica is also a Latinized version of the Greek word enigma, which means puzzle. Leviathan Achilles' top shell is only known from the fifth neural and costal plates on, but it has a smooth, slightly convex surface that is clear to see. The large plates of the carapace on either side of the spine are called costal plates. The preserved plates don't have any marks from scoots, and they don't seem to have any ridges or depressions either. They are wider than they are long, and have a shape that is almost like a rectangle. The neuroplates that run down the middle of the carapace are not very well preserved. The first and last bones, which would be the fifth and eighth plates in a whole shell, are missing. The sixth in the neural series is the biggest and is shaped like an octagon. The seventh, on the other hand, is smaller at the end and is shaped like a hexagon. The pelvis is flat and in the shape of an H, which sets it apart from sea turtles like Toxochiles. Both pubes are fused together, which is also a big difference. On the front sides of the pelvis, there is a unique accessory process that is likely connected to muscles based on how it looks. This is something that only Leviathan Achilles has. No other sea turtle, living or dead, has this trait. In sea turtles, the pelvis is connected to several important muscles. The anterior or front side of the pelvis is connected to the rectus abdominis muscle and the musculus pubo ischiofemoralis. While the first one keeps the pubis stable and helps with breathing, the second one is connected to how the back legs move. Oscar Castillo Visa and colleagues say that the position of the accessory process and the lack of muscle scars make it unlikely that it was related to movement. Instead, they think that it helped the animal breathe. Which is funny because of the often spread fact that turtles breathe through their butts, which they do, though it is a little more complicated than that. Leviathan Achilles is known for being a very big. Its pelvis alone is 88.9 centimeters, 35 inches wide, which is wider than the same bone in the giant Archelon, which is 81 centimeters and 32 inches. Also, the length of the pelvis is very long. It has a pelvic length of 39.5 centimeters, 15.6 inches, which is more than 100% longer than Protostegas at 18 centimeters or 7.1 inches and just a little shorter than Archelons at 46 centimeters or 18 inches. Even though there is no direct way to figure out the exact length of the whole body from the measurements of the pelvis, these measurements do show that Leviathan Achilles could grow to about the same size as these giant protostegids. The authors suggest that the length of the whole body could be 3.75 meters, 12.3 feet. Based on the results of a phylogenetic analysis, Leviathan Achilles is the most primitive member of the sea turtle superfamily Chelonioidea. It is the sister taxon of the Maastrichtian Allopleuron hoffmanii. Oscar Castillo Visa and his colleagues say that this grouping is only supported by a single shared synapomorphy, or shared trait, which is that the pelvis is not connected to the shell by a bone suture, but by ligaments. This makes things even worse because a lot of turtles are in this state, 
making it very plesiomorphic or containing traits shared by many different lineages. Several other characteristics, however, show that both of these taxa still belong to the Shellanioidea. The stratigraphic section of Cal Torales, in which Leviathan Achilles was found, is made up of alternating gray marl and sandstone. The area is built on a 5 meter thick bar of carbonated sandstone, the top of which is the base of the studied section. It has a lot of fossils of invertebrates like well-preserved ostraeids, pectinid bivalves, hexactinellid sponges, echinoderms, horizontal burrows, and bryozoans that have grown out of their bodies. On top of the sandstone layer, a nearly uniform sequence of marls was formed. Overall, the sequence of layers can be described as getting a little bit rougher as you go up. The presence of a well-developed marly sequence, which is sometimes interspersed with fine sandstone levels, probably means that the rocks were laid down in a low-energy, offshore environment. On the other hand, the presence of a thick, organism-filled sandstone bar at the bottom of the stratigraphic section suggests that the water column was not very high. The combination of geological and fossil evidence suggests a transgressive depositional sequence, a transition from a nearshore environment to an environment that is completely offshore. Even though more research needs to be done, the sedimentary sequence at Cal Torades may be one of the last transgressive pulses before the regressive sequence shown by the Upper Cretaceous Gresos de Arini formation in the Southern Pyrenees. The group of benthic macroforaminifera found in the layers above the Perles formation suggested that the water depth was between 20 and 80 meters. This interpretation fits with the fact that there are no high-energy sedimentary structures at the outcrop, which suggests that the environment in which the sediments were laid down was at least below the level of storm influence. Since this is the case, it is most likely that the sedimentary sequence at the Cal Torade site, as well as its lateral equivalent formations, were made in a marine mid-ramp environment. Until now, scientists thought that the largest sea turtles, like Archelon and Protostega, were only found in North America during the latest Cretaceous. The discovery of the huge and strange Chelonioid Leviathan Achilles Enigmatica in the Middle Campanian marine deposits of the Southern Pyrenees, which was about the same size as Archelon, shows how different marine turtles were, and how gigantism in these groups was also happening in Europe. Even though the fossil is small and broken, the new evidence not only increases the diversity of the late Cretaceous marine turtle biota in Europe, but it also opens a new line of research and raises new questions about the evolutionary mechanisms and ecological pressures that could have led to the independent evolution of colossal marine turtles in multiple lineages, especially during the late Cretaceous. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Isaiah Garza, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus. And another thanks to my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Iberospinus, Iron Bladesman, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, The Dogman, 